Could there be style mistakes that you're making? Today I'm going to share with you five style mistakes that you do not want to make if you're over 50. I'm Sheila and this is Chic and Confident, a channel for women over 50 who want to dress well and feel great. Want more dressing tips? Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's get to it. Tip number one is being stuck in a style rut. How do you know if you're in a style rut? You wear the same outfit for every occasion. That doesn't mean you wear the same clothes. It just means you wear the same type of clothes. For example, it might be pants, a top and a jacket, pants, top and a sweater, or it could be jeans. So what can you do about this? Number one, you can start wearing something different. Just get out of your comfort zone a little and try something different. For example, if you never wear a dress or a skirt, buy one and just try it for a while and see how you feel. If you always wear sweaters, try wearing a blazer. If you wear a jacket, a certain type of jacket, change the style of the jacket. Wear a new color. Style mistake number two is wearing clothes that don't suit your body shape. To look your best, you want to create a symmetrical look with your clothes and your body and how they fit together. So for example, if you have a triangle body shape like JLo, you would want to balance your lower half and your upper half. The triangle body shape has narrow shoulders, uh, smaller bust, narrow waist, and large hips and thighs. So in order to balance this body shape, you want to bring more weight to the top half. If you wear clothes that accentuate the bottom half, then you're creating more of what is already there. So for example, a triangle body shape to be balanced would wear something like a off the shoulder top, maybe a light color top with a dark bottom. So it balances the upper and lower halves. If you're not sure what your body shape is, you can download my free dress for your shape body guide. And in that I show you how to find out what your body shape is and then all of the different styles that are best for each body shape. I'll put the link below for that style guide so you will be able to know what styles look best on you and keep your proportions in balance. Style mistake number three is wearing sweaters that are too big and bulky and stretchy. Shapeless sweaters create a frumpy look. So take a look at the sweaters you own right now and if you have a sweater that is thick and long and bulky, change it for something that is lighter. You can also change it for a jacket. Maybe change it for a shorter length sweater. It's a good idea to take the sweaters you own and look in the mirror and decide if that sweater is really flattering or if it's making you look frumpy. Style mistake number four is wearing the wrong colors or wearing no color. Wearing the wrong colors makes lines and dark circles show up, whereas wearing the right colors makes your skin look brighter, more radiant, your eyes sparkle and your hair shine. It's easy to get drawn into wearing the color of the season because that's what you see in stores. But if it's not your color, it's not enhancing how you look. If you'd like to know more about finding your right color, put a comment in the comment box and I will be sure to reply. So what is this about not wearing any color? What I mean is wearing beige, black or gray. They are really neutrals. Wearing all neutrals is a great way to hide but it's also very drab and will not bring out the fullness of your beauty. There is a way to wear black, gray and beige, but if you wear them all together, it's not flattering unless you know how to do it. Style mistake number five is wearing the wrong shoes. Shoes have a major impact on how your outfit looks. Shoes can make your legs look longer. It can make your legs look shorter. It can make your ankles look wider. It can make them look smaller. In order to stay stylish, choose shoes that are more lightweight. You don't need to have bulky shoes to have comfortable shoes. Choose shoes with a square heel or a kitten heel or a wedge and leave your comfort shoes for when you're walking or you're spending a lot of time on your feet. Here's a bonus tip that I hadn't planned. It's the details that matter. Maybe you hadn't noticed, but all through this video, I was wearing two different earrings. 
I've changed them now. But it's because I got dressed too quickly. So now I'm going to take my own advice and slow down and watch out for details. Thanks for watching and if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and keep on styling.